All right, hey, welcome to, we don't know what we're calling this yet, but we know that between me and Father Gary and actually Glenn Hunter over there had a great idea that we want to try to stay connected with everybody through some worship and through some prayer and through some reflections with this guy over here that we could really see what's in his heart and the message he wants to share with everybody that's a part of our parish at Our Lady of Victory, but also throughout our community and our diocese. So we just thought, hey, why not put together a... I think they called this a video blog, a vlog. I don't know. I'm not real techy on that kind of stuff, but I but yeah. I know that I miss all of you too, and I bet I speak for every priest that says we miss all of you. Yeah, we miss having you there celebrating the mass with us. Right, right. So, and we definitely, but but. We figure what better opportunity to get together and worship with with Glenn, who's the music director there at Our Lady of Victory, and um, maybe play a few songs and hear a little bit about what's on Father's heart. I think he wants to talk about our Blessed Mother today, which is whoop, whoop. We're excited about that. So so let's uh, maybe just start with a song. Sound good? Sounds cool. Good. uncertainty. One moment we're okay, the next moment we see some statistics or we hear of someone testing positive. All of a sudden, for some of us, it's hitting closer at home because we actually are knowing someone or we know someone of someone that has tested positive and it seems more real. Right, right. And I just think Mary can teach us so much about how to handle things right now. 
I've been thinking a lot about Mary. And a lot of people have. So many people have said, Father, I, I haven't prayed my rosary in a long time. Or I haven't prayed this many rosaries in a long time. What a wonderful prayer. What a wonderful, powerful prayer. I, I know of couples, husbands and wives that are praying together. I know that families, their moms and dads are praying the rosary with their children. When I was growing up a million years ago, and we, the family rosary was really the center of the home. And people are bringing that back. We have time. Yeah. After a while, we can only watch so much news. And we know our Holy Father, Pope Francis, is encouraging us to pray the rosary. He's leading us. There he is, by him, not by himself, but it seems to be in the Vatican. There are very few people. And you see where it used to be thousands and thousands of people hearing his message, seeking his blessing, and he goes out on the balcony, and there's no one in the square. But yet, everyone is there. They're all in his heart. And Mary is very much with our, with our Holy Father right now. And he's encouraging us to turn to Mary, to look at our Blessed Mother, to see that she, in so much that she had to go through, she trusted God. So I thought we would read that passage of the angel Gabriel coming to Mary oh, and yeah. the Annunciation and informing her, which means all of us, that God is with us. And so if you have your Bibles, if you want to, pick them up or go on your, your iPad or your iPhone, however you would like to do it. But we read from the first chapter in Luke's Gospel, the announcement of the birth of Jesus. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will be, name him Jesus, and he will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her, who was once called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Isn't that a great passage for us in these times? Trust. Trust, Trust she had. What, what kind of pops out in your mind, in your heart, in this passage? In the passage, well, first I'll go back to what you originally talked about. I'm a new Catholic. You know, I just mm -hmm. came into the church right. about two years ago. I guess this uh, Easter would be two full years ago. And the idea of the, of the church being universal and worldwide, like you said, nobody was standing out there, but right. everybody's there with him. Mm -hmm. I love that part of the church. Mm -hmm. when, we, when I was at a you know, smaller, non-denominational type church, like you're very much just your little community and that's right. it. You yeah. know? So the idea that we can really be a part of a global community yeah. and really pray together. We know we have a billion Catholics praying with us. Like, what a beautiful thing. What a, mm -hmm. But from that passage, man, just the complete trust that she had that God's will was better than her plans or her ideas. And like you said, the media, you can only watch so much news. Because <laughs> a lot of it's the same, and a lot of it's real negative. Sure. Right. You know, they, right. they, they tend to uh, put the uh, tougher things on there because mm -hmm. it gets more people watching. Absolutely. But, uh, but uh, just the idea that her trust in his plan is so admirable. And so incredible, and you just—it's such, such a something that I desire to uh, to emulate. So. And I think the messenger of God, the angel, said to Mary, 
do not be afraid. That's exactly what God is saying to us. I mean, this is why this passage means so much to me right now, is that Mary had every reason to be afraid, but she didn't give in to her fear. She was reassured by God's messenger. We're reassured by Jesus Christ, who is our Savior. Because how many times Jesus says in his public ministry, how many times recorded in the Bible, do not be afraid. So that was the very beginning. Before he was even conceived in, in Mary's womb, it was always the understanding that God is with us, that he is Emmanuel. God, in his chosen time, came to us. And it was that time. And Mary said yes. Her fiat is can be our fiat. We can say yes to God too. But it always begins with not having fear. I can't do anything when I'm filled with fear. I don't know about you. But I don't think you can as a, as a husband, as a father. I mean, we can't get through anything in life with fear. And we can't get through this situation with fear. Because fear is only going to beget more fear. But when I'm not afraid when I have that confidence like Mary did and trust, then I can do what is asked of me. And Mary didn't know exactly how it was all going to unfold. Right. And I thought I like, oh, Mary, else, no, she did. Yeah, that's something else to point out there, too. Yeah. It's like, it's okay to, to question and be right. like, wow, is this really, how is this happening? You know, right. she was she was unsure, too. It's okay right. to be unsure. Right. It's human nature to be, to doubt and to right. be fearful a little right. bit and to sure. be, and to question. Mm -hmm. How could this be happening to our world right now with this with this mm -hmm. pandemic? But but in the end, she was quickly relieved of her fear exactly. because of her faith. You know, so she had trust. So it's okay to it's we're we're all nervous. Don't sure. be don't be mistaken. Yeah. We're all yeah. nervous yeah. about yeah. this, you know. But well, not only for our, Yeah, it doesn't mean we have to be fearful. Right. But so I think so too. Yeah. And and of course that famous verse, nothing is impossible oh. for God. That's what I hold on to right now. Maybe is that God Maybe will see us through it, certainly. Because nothing's impossible for God. It's incredible. It's hard to wrap our minds around the truth that God came to us in the flesh, in human flesh. And Mary said yes to God's obedience. She said yes to what God was asking of her. And God is asking the same of us. Are we willing to trust Him? Are we willing to say yes? Blessed Mother, intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in God's peace. Thanks be to God.